after months in a recession and years under the shadow of political instability and some of the world's strictest COVID measures. There is much anticipation over Hong Kong leader John Lee's maiden policy address. In a government that no longer has any seats held by opposition parties, it was predictably well received by the roundly pro-Beijing legislature. But those expecting the return to the world stage of this once freewheeling financial hub were quickly disappointed. Um, it's a blueprint that has seen the city's Hang Seng Index, one of the world's largest stock markets, slip further into the red. They really started to slide um, as the speech went on. Yesterday, the Hang Seng Index closed virtually um, at the low of the day, at, a, at an 11-year low. Um, today, it's sliding once again. It's down another um, couple of percent. Um, and if it ends up at the end of the day where it is now, it'll be the lowest close since May 2009. So that'll be a 13-year low. Lee's address saw a rare admission of Hong Kong's brain drain crisis, acknowledging that the city of 7.5 million has lost around 140,000 skilled workers over the past two years. The exodus started with the imposition of the wide-ranging national security law in 2020 and picked up pace as Hong Kong laid down some of the world's most rigid pandemic border controls. Lee proposed incentives to attract more international talent, but steered clear of both these key issues. The problem is some of those issues can't be addressed because they really come from Beijing. It's things like concern about the national security law. Um, parents have been taking their children out of school because they're worried that the education system is becoming too politicized. The, the CE didn't get on to the COVID restrictions until right at the very end of his two and three quarter hour speech. We were hoping to see some sort of timeline and some sort of exit strategy for how uh, these restrictions will be removed and we could return to normal life. But that was missing um, from the policy address. Instead, Li's speech focused on schemes to push integration with mainland China echoing Beijing's ambitions to see the special administrative region become another component of a vast new Greater Bay Area, comprising nine cities around the Pearl River Delta. Activists in exile say it falls in line with Beijing's plans to absorb the international city into Greater China. John Lee is mentioning more and more of the Greater Bay Area because I see it as one of his political missions during his term uh, to eventually dissolve you know, the land, the concept, and the boundaries, the borders of Hong Kong, and instead replace it with the Greater Bay Area. The Greater Bay Area was referenced over 50 times in Lee's address. Also clocking in dozens of mentions was the Northern Metropolis, an expansive new development slated for Hong Kong's rural hinterland near the border with the southern Chinese city of Shenzhen. The northern metropolis is definitely a symbol of Hong Kong's center of power and influence moving and shifting closer to Beijing and moving closer to Shenzhen. It's seen as a means of melting away a once paramount distinction between the former British colony and its authoritarian neighbor. One thing that actually shocked me was when he said that government offices could move to, you know, the northern metropolis, which actually is not very connected to other, you know, offices or other entities inside of Hong Kong. So I think his move is really saying that in the future, Hong Kong is going to have a much tighter ties uh, with, you know, mainland China, and it's also going to go out of their way to uh, really make it convenient for Chinese officials to come to Hong Kong and for the police officers from the National Security Department to travel to Hong Kong and monitor what's going on. For many, the chief executive's policy address fell short of its pledge to deliver a clear plan to revive the city's status as an international hub. But it has shown both residents and the wider world the direction Hong Kong is heading. Ryan Hill Kilpatrick for Taiwan Plus.